So um, I'll solve uh, this problem on a uh, Langlange interpolation. Okay, so um, we have a question here saying, uh, given uh, uh, using a sine 0 0.1 equal to that and sine 0 0.2 equal to uh, that value, find an approximate value of sine 0 0.18. So we're just trying to approximate uh, what sine 0 0.18 gives us. Okay, using it, Langlange multiply. Uh, so Langlange interpolation. Okay, and then at the end, we also have to find the bound of the error of truncation. Okay, so let's get started. So we are given um, sine uh, 0 0.1. This uh, gives us uh, 0 0.2. Okay, so as I was going through this problem, I noticed that there was a mistake here. Sine 0 0.1 actually doesn't give you 0 0.9983. It instead gives you 0 0.0983. So we'll make that correction. Okay, and also sine it, uh, 0 0.2. Uh, this is yeah, it, uh, 0 0.19, uh, H67. Okay, so these are the input values of X. So 0 0.1, we call it X naught, right? So X naught simply 0 0.1, and this gives us what? Y naught. And Y naught simply 0 0.2, uh, 0 0.9983. And then this will be X2, so X1. So x1 is equal to uh, 0 0.2, and it gives us the output as y1 equal to uh, 0 0.19867. Uh, OK. So now what we'll to find the Lagrange uh, polynomial. So the Lagrange polynomial is given by uh, P of x. This is equal to L0 of x, and then times y0 plus L1 of x times y1 plus L2 of X uh, times Y1, uh, Y2, plus so on and so forth. Okay, so now, from what we are given here, since we are given X not up to X1, we're only going to find L0 and L1, okay? So how do you get L0 and L1, okay? Because we know Y0 already, uh, we know Y1, okay? So we're going to just go end up to here. So how do you get L0, okay? So L0 of X is given by, Okay, x minus x1. So when you're finding L0, you don't have to need, don't need to have x0 on top. Okay, divide by uh, x0 minus x1. So this I'll get L0. Okay, so notice the difference here. When you're finding L0 on top, you don't need, you don't, you must never have L, uh, x0 on top here. And then in the numerator, all the values of x must be subtracted from what? Uh, X naught. Okay, so this is for L naught. And then for L1, it must be the other way around, right? So we must have X minus X naught. So it means that you need, you need to have X1 on in the uh, numerator there. And then divide by, uh, so these terms in the uh, denominator will be subtracted from uh, X1. Okay, so it'll be X1 minus X naught. Okay, so we'll look at a different case in the next video where we have uh, you go up to L2, okay? You have three nodes in, in, in short. So go up to L2, how do you treat that as well? All right, so substituting these uh, values uh, in our function there, so P of X will be equal to X minus X1 over X naught minus X1 times Y naught plus uh, L1 which is X minus X naught over X1 minus X naught uh, y1. Okay, so let's plug in the values here. So p of x equal to x minus our x1 in this case is simply 0 0.2. Okay, x naught uh, is 0 0.1 minus uh, 0 0.2. Okay, Which and then times y naught. So I'll put this in brackets. Uh, y naught is uh, 0 0.0989. Uh, um, plus our x minus x naught, our x is 0.1 over x1 minus x naught is 0.2 minus 0.1. And this gives us um, what? Sorry, uh, times y1. Our y1 is um, 0 
Okay. All right. So let's simplify this further. So if you have to simplify that, uh, we are simply getting 0 0.1 minus 0 0.2. We have negative 1 over 10 that we enter there, of which you're going to end up having it. P of x is equal to negative 10 x minus uh, 0 0.2 times uh, 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.9983 plus this is just be 0 0.1 same as uh, apply that by 10 x minus 0 0.1 0 0.19867 okay now this is what we call a Lagrange uh, polynomial right we have found the polynomial of second uh, sort of first degree Okay, first degree and right polynomial. So now we need to find here simply uh, evaluate this. Okay, at p of uh, 0 0.18. So when x is 0 0.18, what are we getting as approximation? So 10, negative 10, and then 0 0.18 minus 0 0.2, then with 0 0.0, uh, 0 0.9983 plus 10. Okay, uh, plus 10. Uh, 0. Uh, what? Uh, 0. 0.18 uh, minus 0. 0.1 and then 0. 0.19867. Okay, so this is our power of uh, code. So now we just have to part this value in our calculator. Okay, so I've just have to part these values uh, in our calculator. I can't reach my data document, let me just uh, do so. So uh, you can see like, what it actually is. Okay, so we are going to have um, a negative 10 times uh, 0 0.18 minus uh, 0 0.2 times 0 0.09983 plus 10 bracket 0 0.18 minus 0 0.1 uh, and then times 0 0.19867 okay so i'm getting approximately so uh, the approximate value of this uh, 0 0.18 is approximately equal to uh, 0 0.178902 and if you had to confirm this with the actual value of sign uh, 0 0.18 this uh, this actual value is giving us uh, a size 0 0.18. We are getting uh, about uh, 0 0.1790295. Uh, so the approximation is actually uh, close to that. Okay, so this is our approximation here. Okay, now the second part says. Um, also obtain a bound of the truncation error. Okay, so how much error we are going to have here as a maximum error, right? So what I'm going to do is this. So to get that error, I know that error is simply, okay, the difference between the actual function minus the approximated function, right? So this will be uh, f of, sorry, let me just use black, f of x minus p of x, okay? Of course, we just need the absolute value of it. And this is given by um, the derivative, right? And the nth derivative. So look at this. We are two points, right? We are two points. So this point one, x naught up to x one, right? Or uh, we had um, the linear polynomial, the first degree uh, Langlage interpolation polynomial, right? So what you need to do here is find the second derivative of that. Okay, so n uh, plus one, the derivative of n plus one, evaluate this at uh, some point, which we call epsilon. Okay, this is a function of epsilon. And then e times x minus x naught, x minus x one, so on and so forth. Now, since here we're just ending, uh, we just have x and x one, so I'm going to end here. Okay, and then divide by uh, n plus one uh, factorial. Okay. So since this one was um, the first degree, right? It was a first degree polynomial, as you can see, the highest power here was just equal to uh, one. Okay, so that's our value of n. So this was our first degree polynomial. Okay, so we're going to have the second derivative. 
Okay, so for this, second derivative of uh, the function uh, of that uh, function as a function of epsilon uh, x, and then x minus our x naught was 0 0.1, uh, and then x minus 0 0.2. Now, are they divided by our n is simply one, remember that was uh, the first degree polynomial, so this will go to two factorial. Okay, so this is the error, okay? Okay, okay you call that error. Now let's get this, uh, the second derivative. Now what is our f of x first of all? So since the approximating uses in sine, okay, 0 0.18, right? Okay, assume that our f epsilon of x, Okay, this is just equal to sign epsilon of x. So I'm not going to call it x. Epsilon of x, epsilon is simply the value which is found within the set of the given nodes. So since so the nodes from 0 0.01 to 0 0.2, okay, so epsilon of x must be within there, that 0 0.1 uh, epsilon x to 0 0.2, right? So that's the value of x that need to have there. I mean, of epsilon x. So I have to find where it is it maxima, because we need maximum of it. So let's find the first derivative first. So f prime, okay, epsilon of x. This is just equal to cosine uh, epsilon of x. Okay. And then the second derivative, this has to be negative uh, sine epsilon of x. So we have found the second derivative. So go back and substitute this in our uh, error uh, formula. So our error just be equal to negative sine epsilon of x uh, divided by two factorial, and then x minus x naught, and our x naught is simple as 0 0.1, x minus x1 to 0 0.2. So we need to this, uh, just, just need the positive uh, part of it. So what is the value of x in this case? So x approximating this at about x 0 0.18. Okay, and what is the epsilon of x? So epsilon of x is actually, we can, can get it from boundaries. So remember that this guy is between that, right? Okay, so you can test, right? Which which value among these here from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 will give you the maximum value of sine function. And sine function is maximum when the value is large, right? So between 0 0.1 and 0 0.2, you know that the larger, the larger value there is what? Uh, 0 0.2 itself. And I know there are some values in between here, but it will give you the maximum at 0 0.2 when you plug in the sine function there, okay? So what are going to have simply uh, sine uh, 0 0.2 uh, divided by two factorial, evaluating this as 0 0.18, minus 0 0.1, 0 0.18 minus 0 0.2. Okay, so we just need the absolute value of that. So how much is that error? So sine 0 0.2, we already given this already. So I'm just trying to punch it again. And then 0 0.18 minus 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.18 minus 0 0.2. Okay, so I'm getting about, uh, 1.58935 times 10 to the power negative 4 as our error. Okay, this is our error here. Okay, say maximum error. Okay. Okay, when you are trying to approximate 0 0.18, that's the error, the maximum error can get from that. Now, let's uh, compare with the actual error. So, the actual error. What about our actual error? So our actual error will simply be what? Sine 0.180 minus C, the approximated value found, right? And what was the approximated value found is 0 0.1790, uh, sorry, uh, 0 0.178902. Okay, 0 0.178902. Okay, so we need just a absolute value of that. So, and of course, when you're trying to patch this, make sure that your calculator is in more, uh, radian mode. Okay. So I'm getting about, um, so this approximately equal to 1.27, uh, 
uh, 5, 7 times 10 power negative 4. Okay, which is pretty close to this, right? Okay, so that's the error we get. Okay, so that's the end of this question, and uh, thank you for your attention. Okay, so more questions are coming. Just stay tuned. Okay.